shit look good. Man, what a beauty. What's going on you guys? This is Antoine aka The Big Fella bringing you another video. Right now it is Friday afternoon around 3.30. I got off of work a little bit early today and I'm actually out here um, near Lake Orange so I'm gonna meet a coworker of mine. Uh, we're gonna take his boat out and try to do a little bit of fishing. I have a feeling it's gonna be tough because um, I know it's uh, kind of windy outside. Plus it's getting ready to rain here pretty soon. And then on top of that, the uh, water temperature is still in the 40s, I believe, He uh, when he checked when he got here. So um, it might be kind of tough, but, you know, we're still going to try to get after it. So sit back, stay tuned. I hope you guys enjoy this video. It is a beautiful day out here, nonetheless. Kind of windy out here, too. But I think we'll be able to manage. Oh, let me not let this boat blow away. You talking about that one, the... True. I ain't never hit this thing before. Any, like, I always go that way or that cold straight across there. Yeah, this is like a, a little three, four foot flat. I'm willing to bet they come back here and spawn like crazy. All the fish on this side of the lake anyway. Go to the left. <sighs> I'm sorry, GoPro. Put this hood up real quick. My ear's starting to get cold. I thought it was good. Like I was like, yeah, it's gonna be uh, I'm like yeah, it's gonna be 50, 60s all from now on. Cause we had that week, like week and a half for like straight 50, 60, and a couple days be 70. The way the wind howling. <laughs> it must be like a, oh, it was like a crazy storm supposed to be coming or something. Y'all have no idea. Right. Right. I mean, it's pushing us good. Huh? You, you got the trolling motor on? Yeah. Uh, I'm about to say, it's pushing us good. <laughs> yeah. Yo, that sky do look crazy. <laughs> right? Is this a hurricane? Look at the birds. The birds don't even know what to do. <laughs> I'm, I'm straight by. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what the hell's going on? Oh, you good? <laughs> oh, 
Yo, look up there. Huh? I don't know where the, all this uh, monsoon came from. Well, there's a water drop. There we go. Yo, we like uh, just got caught up in some crazy storm that just came out of nowhere. The sky just started getting gray, and uh, all of a sudden it just started pouring down, raining. The uh, wind gusts. Oh, uh, them gusts gotta be up to like 15, 20 miles an hour, easy. But yeah, we are motoring back now. Uh, gotta get off this water. Guys, we endured all that for the sun to come out on that side of the lake. Yo, I kid you not, this is after all that storm that we just had to motor our way through. This is unbelievable. Look how calm the water is. While it goes, white caps. Crazy. There's some debris and stuff out here on the road too. guys it is wednesday evening i'm making my way home from work right now it's actually a pretty nice day outside it's right around 50 degrees or so there's a slight breeze of kind of uh the complete opposite of what it was when me and my co-worker darren were out there at lake orange earlier in the video uh, when a monsoon fell upon us but um, i'm going to be driving right past fort ap hill on my way home so i think i'm going to go ahead and stop in there and see if i can try and catch a fish or two for the video um, the water temperature last time we were out at Lake Orange is right around 52 degrees or so, so the water is warming up a little bit. So I'm hoping the fish will start to become more active and start feeding to get ready for the spawn. But um, I'll find all that out once I get out here to the lake. All right, you guys, I made it on base and I decided to fish this uh, smaller pond here. Probably just walk along the banks and uh, do a little something, something. But uh, let me go ahead and get my fishing gear out and we'll go ahead and start fishing. <sighs> it's been a while since I fished this little pond. Normally in the summertime, it's like 90 to 95 percent lily pads. So I usually just come over here with a frog. But with all the lily pads uh, being submerged, I think I want to, you know, maybe try a Texas rigged worm. Oh, it's a dead fish right there. Probably somebody was using it for bait. <clears throat> loud rumble it's a huge plane flying towards me oh there, there's that plane again <laughs> Is that plane coming back? I hear it. Cause it sounds like uh, a big gust of wind is coming. Almost kind of like uh, when we were at Lake Orange, it sounded like uh, this plane was coming. I wish I knew what kind of plane this was. Maybe some of you veterans um, that subscribe to my channel could let me know. 
But yep, here it comes. It's coming a lot faster this time. Alright you guys, I'm gonna see if I can get a little bit of a reaction or something out of this thing here. Holy cow, that thing goes. I don't think I want to fish with this too much over here for fear of getting it hung up on a lily pad, not being able to get it out. But there is one lake back here I want to go take this bad boy. Because I know there's a, uh, a pretty decent crappy spot in there. Maybe we can catch some crappy. I think crappy go after these things. All right. Just one more cast with this thing and I'm done with it here. Okay. All right, yeah, let's leave this thing alone. As a matter of fact, oh, if I don't fall in the mud first, let's go ahead and go over to this other lake here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah luckily I had my uh mm-hmm luckily I had my lip gripper mm-hmm Just hoping I don't, these rocks are really unsteady. I'm about to fall in the water, it feels like. Now the way my luck usually goes, I'll be like, okay, I'm, this is my last cast right here and then a fish will bump it. And then I'm like, ooh, I gotta go back after him. And 30 minutes later, I'm still fishing in the same spot. <laughs> this is my last cast. This is. Okay, I'm putting the lure. I'm putting it up, y'all. I'm putting it up. All right, you guys, I'm leaving the base. I gotta get home and get dinner started for the kids and all that good stuff. It definitely was a good day. I mean, I caught a pickerel. Um, haven't caught one of those in a while. I would have loved to have caught a bass, but you know, you can't catch them every day. But uh, I'm gonna give y'all one more good shot of this lake before I get out of here. And then um, I'll see you guys when I get home.
What's going on, guys? And Anton Kane, a big fella. It is dark outside for our we have, we have We have some business to do. It's boring. We watch some TV. We have everything is messy. That's why. Right. He made a huge That's right. You have toys. a computer. That's right. I brace. Right here. It's. It's. E. Done. Well, you guys, if I ever see another storm like that out on the water, it'll be too soon. That was just crazy how it snuck up on us like that. I mean, it was literally calm. You know, it drizzled for a little bit, then it would stop. Um, it waited till we got to the far end of the lake before it actually started uh, blowing hard and raining hard and all that stuff. But uh, we made it off of the water safe and, um, you know, nothing was damaged or anything like that. I actually saved the tackle box, which was uh, pretty good. But um, it just sucked that the moment we got the boat up on the trailer and got it out of the water, the sun and stuff came back out. The water was calm and all that good stuff. It was just absolutely crazy. Also, you guys, don't forget that the uh, first of the month is right around the corner. So another MTB LTB contest will be dropping. Just look for that video and just follow the directions in order for a chance to win some free fish and stuff. Well, that's going to do it for this episode of Big Fella Outdoors. Be sure to tune into the next episode. You can catch me outside doing what I love most, getting my dose of the great outdoors. Be sure to get y'all's too. <laughs>